There is a huge societal gain, not just in avoided plant expenditures and avoided distribution when we're going out the wire here and to the next lot where there's a rental house and in the wire there. That's their distribution of our generated electricity. But there is also a huge benefit in lower emissions and a cleaner world by encouraging that. Further, there is a huge benefit to having people in your neighborhood who do have electricity in the event of a grid outage or a climate event or an earthquake. And the benefits just keep going on. Benefits in jobs in installing solar equipment and jobs in building solar equipment and economic activity having to do with the widespread deployment of solar across the land. The CMP characterizes net metering as something necessary to jumpstart solar installations, but long having outrun or outlived its necessary utility. I agree. We should phase out net metering and bring in feed-in tariff at two to three times the net metering rate to super accelerate the deployment of solar across the United States and to reach a point where a third of our energy is generated at the point of use by a citizen-owned power plant. And I think the societal good there outweighs all other considerations. And I think if you put it to a vote in any state in the union, and after any ridiculously overfunded and stupid ad campaign that any utility company or group of utility companies could put on, it would prevail.